Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Today we are discussing a 500 piece limited edition in stainless steel that was sold back in 2013. This is the Zen 140A Space Chronograph based on the model that in 1985 on the D1 Space Lab mission flew into orbit on the wrist of German astronaut Reinhard Fuhrer. So this is quite literally a watch that has flown into space and you can see the D1 logo on the back that was one of, if not the last mission of the Space Shuttle Challenger. Taking a quick look at the watch itself, it's clearly in the spirit of the late 70s through mid 80s tonneau chronographs, and it is very much in that historic vein, though this is a modern version of it. In stainless steel, it's also substantial, 44 millimeters in diameter, 15.2 millimeters thick, 45.5 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs, and you can see that more clearly from the bottom. On my wrist, and my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see how well it wears. It's a big piece, but it's not too big. I would say that if your wrist is my size or larger, you're going to wear it just fine. I would wear this. I would have no reservations about this size. It's not thin, not by any measure, but because it does have a sloped case flank, jacket cuffs should be okay. Taking a look down the barrel, the short lug-to-lug -lug span is a standout, but in this case, I wouldn't want you to be fooled by that. Although it's really short across the wrist, its height and its weight and its particular shape means it does wear as a very big 44 millimeter watch that feels true to size. It is quite large. The strap is beautiful and remarkably luxurious. You can see it's a Zinn factory strap, no crimping, no gouging, with a broguing of leather stitched on top of leather, calf skin being aviators tradition and this is very much an aerospace watch with a contrasting stitch the layering of the leather is gorgeous and it feels very substantial we have a media blasted matching steel zinn factory pin buckle the case features a combination of polish and satin and you can see that oh so 70s and 80s radial satin grain across the top of the tunnel you'll also note that it's a monoblock case as the case and the bezel are all one piece everything loads through the case back so that's how it goes together we have an internal bi-directional rotating aviator style bezel that you can if you wish line up with the chronograph minutes hand or you can line it up with the clock time minutes hand bi-directional with a 60 minute scale it's not a diver's bezel but it is very much a useful timing instrument for pilots there's a lot of loom on this dial and part of it is on the bezel which you can easily read against the minute hand in the dark this has the AR system, which originally included an argon fill. Today, these AR watches are actually nitrogen filled, but they still use the AR symbol. We have a copper sulfate capsule in the flank, and that will actually pull moisture out of the case if any intrudes. Initially, the nitrogen fill flushes out any dust and moisture that may be in the case, but some can intrude slowly over the years. When this turns completely dark blue, that's the time for replacement. So you can see this one's about halfway through its service life. It is a service replacement item that can be endless renewed during factory services, but its job is to pull any moisture that intrudes out of the movement. We have a Zinn branded crown, polished chronograph pushers, which are very nicely polished and partly sheathed in the case flank. On the dial, matte black, resisting glare. You can see that it features the SZ01 movement. You'll see that it says SZ01 on the case back and also SZ01 on the dial. This is a Zinn in-house modification of a 7750 architecture to work like the original 140 chronographs La Magna 5100. So the La Magna 5100 was a cam chronograph that used a central 60 minute hand. So you can see how we get a 60 minute scale, which is semi instantaneous jumping by virtue of having a 60 minute hand radially arrayed at center. And we have our chronograph seconds hand, and then we have our chronograph hours down at the base. So, so a lot of chronographs only give you a 30 minute scale. That's the case with my DR02. You can see it only has a 30 minute scale. With the centrally located hand, not only is it easier to read the minute because it always lands exactly on the minute index but you get those minutes between 30 and 60. We do have a date. The watch does feature 
a couple of subsidiary setting modes. Note there's a hacking second, so you can bring everything to a halt and set the watch against a reference time. We also have a quick set for the dates. So you can rapidly swap. The SC01 is a modified 7750 architecture, so unidirectional winding, a 42 to 44 hour power reserve, quick set date, hacking seconds, four hertz beat rate, and then it has the modification with the central instantaneous jumping 60 minute hand like a Lamagna 5100. Just remember, it wasn't a jumping hand on a 51. 100. It was a scrolling hand because this is 7750 based. It can now be a jumping hand. Well, not a dive watch. It is water resistant down to 100 meters, which is quite respectable. And you can see individually numbered. This one is 130 of 500. And once again, we've got that D1 mission logo on the back reminding you that the 140 was the first automatic chronograph to fly into space, according to Zinn. We do know that it was equipped by German astronauts, which is a wonderful story, no matter how the facts ultimately shake out. But this is a wonderfully versatile watch for those who love the pure tool-style pilot's timepiece and might be space fans in addition. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.